Hello, you're watching James. My name is James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Today I'm going to talk about my Hydro Conquest, which I've had for the past year, and I'm going to give it a full review and talk about why I love it, what the specifications and dimensions are on it. So, without further ado, let's have a look. So this is my Long Jeans Hydro Conquest, model number L37422. I've had this watch for about a year now, maybe a little bit more, and I thought it was about time that I did a review on it. I do wear it a lot, so I think I'm going to give you a, a pretty good understanding of the positives and negatives of the watch itself. It comes in this very nice substantial case with an interior watch box, which is in this nice dark blue. It also comes with this rather large manual. As you can see, it's huge. It does come in various languages, so there's people all over the world here that can read this if they want to. However, I'm sure they won't just like I didn't. Also comes with your warranty card in the back. So inside it comes in this nice watch box here. It's in a dark blue. It has a nice long jeans logo along the bottom and the watch itself. Let's have a look, shall we? So here is my long jeans Hydro Conquest with the black tile. It has a case diameter of 41 millimeters. It has a thickness of 12 millimeters. A lug to lug of 51 millimeters and a slightly unusual 21 millimeter bracelet lug size. The bracelet itself is 21 mils all the way along and goes up to 22 at the class. Measured to my six and three quarter wrist, it is 176 grams. It comes with a black, mildly sunburst dial. It has applied indices in two spots, including what you'll see is the, the dots and the rectangular indices. They also comes with the 12, 9, and 6 applied. There is a minute marker around, which is printed on the dial, the long jeans symbol, as well as the name, automatic 30 bar, 300 meters printed on the dial. The hands are loomed. There is also a loom within each of the numerals, as well as each of the little dots, and the loom pip on the bezel. The bezel itself has an aluminium insert. It has a 120 click unidirectional turn and has a very nice solid feel to it. One of my favorite parts of this watch is you'll see the grip on the side of the bezel stops at both the bottom and the top, creating a nice harmonious flow from the bracelet up onto the watch. It does, however, make it a little bit harder to grab because you can't hold on to those sections. So when you do turn, it is from the sides. It is a solid, very nice feeling clicking, no movement whatsoever. It has these large crown guards, which are to, not to all people's taste. However, I like the geometric shapes of it. The crown itself is very nice. It has a lovely gripping pattern with a machined end, which you can see dips in. It comes with a signed crown in between those two geometric crown guards. The bracelet itself is brushed on the outsides and a high polish on the center. And as you can see, it gets marks very easily. However, it does give it that much more dressy feel to it. The clasp itself has a security latch and then a friction lock with this very nice solid milled clasp. It does have a diver's extension. The case back has a very nice well-defined 3D image on the back denoting the long jeans, the symbol, states that it's the Hydro Conquest, it shows that it's 300 meters water resistant, stainless steel, Swiss made. It has sapphire crystal with multi layers of anti-reflective coating. Inside here we have a L888 movement as denoted by the Long Jeans website. That is actually an ETA based movement which is made exclusively for Long Jeans. The Long Jeans brand is owned by the Swatch Group which also owns ETA, so ETA supplies the movements for this. And as you can see, being only 12mm thick is a very thin, nicely sitting watch. You'll also see how much it curves down so that it curves and forms to the wrist. So firstly, let's talk about a couple of things that I probably dislike about the watch. And I guess that's probably a little bit harsh. I don't dislike them, but they're probably the, the biggest negatives that I can find about the watch. Firstly, the clasp. 
Although I do like it, and it is certainly strong, I don't like the friction lock that you have to use your nail under here. It would be so lovely to have the pushes there, which it does not. Also, it only has three micro adjusts. I know when I first sized this watch for myself, it took a little bit of play and having that extra micro adjust may have made life a little bit easier. Secondly, it only has push pins to hold the bracelet together. Having screw pins would have been much more aesthetically pleasing. I would have much preferred them. However, saying that these are unlikely to ever come out, it's going to stay sized to this for my wrist, so it's not really a big deal. Again, with the bracelet having the polished center section, it does make it look a little bit showy. It certainly does pick up a lot of the finger marks. However, because this is technically my good watch, the one where I wear out when I go out to nice dinners, it is nice to have a little bit more showy, I guess. So let's talk about the things that I do like about it. Obviously, aesthetically, I love the look of the, the, the dial here. It's a really nice look. I love how the second hand pushes right out to the minute track and have this lovely little red arrow on the edge. I also like how the bracelet integrates into the case. You'll see it steps in and then steps in one further. It has a female end link, so it does drop away straight from the watch onto your wrist. And I mentioned the crown before. I just love the look and the feel of this particular crown. It works so well, it pops out so nice, it's very tactile, out to the first position. Obviously it has hacking and hand winding as well. It's a very nice crown to use. So let's have a look at it on my six and three quarter inch wrist. So there we have it on my six and three quarter inch hairy wrist. As you can see, it fits very nicely to the wrist, partly because it does drop straight down, but also because of that lug to lug fits very nicely. Because it is also quite a thin watch, it sits very nicely on my wrist. It profiles with the curvature of the case to my wrist. It's very pleasant to wear. Being 176 grams can be a little bit weighty, but I actually put like a weighty watch and I also like a little bit of movement and feel that shake as you shake it down below the knuckle or push it back above the knuckle. So let's get this one on the time grapher. As you can see, this is a 25,200 vibrations per hour. Having reduced the, the vibrations slightly does give an extended power reserve of 72 hours for this watch. You got zero beat error, which is very good, slightly low amplitude and zero seconds a day. You can't complain about those numbers. So there's my one year review of my Hydro Conquest. I love this watch. I've had it for over a year. It was a gift from my wife, which is making it very special to me. My family also chipped in for it. I got it for my 40th birthday. It was also the watch that made me go from liking watches to absolutely loving watches. I did the whole go down the rabbit hole sort of thing, looking at reviews just like this, and I came across this watch. Even though I went through thousands of other watches, this is the one I kept coming back to, and this is the one I got. I hope this helps you a little bit in regards to not getting to know this particular watch, and I hope that you buy one, because they're awesome. Wonderful. You have a good day.